Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Kinga and I started making YouTube videos right after my divorce to document for myself and my closest friends how I am reinventing myself and my whole life. If you're not a friend but you still um, found this video or you were kind of guided to it, take it as a sign. Maybe it means you need to subscribe to my channel or not. But uh, I mean, at least you could give it a like maybe at the end if you think that others should find it too. So I went to see Esther Hicks and listen to Abraham uh, live in Amsterdam in May 2022. Here's a video I made uh, on this previously and I will also link it in the description section below. And um, Abraham did say at the end of the workshop that our lives are going to change now and manifestation power will be stronger. And um, I don't remember if they used the exact same words, obviously, probably not, but that's how I remember it. That, uh, you know, like kind of like a new chapter is going to start for all, all of us with more and better things to come. And I got a real kick out of Esther's closing message and I was eager to see the new things and the changes showing up. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about what happened to me right after the Abraham Hicks workshop. So about a week after returning to Stockholm from Amsterdam, I got a message from my mom that's uh, in itself, it's not strange, but the message was strange because you have to know that we have a troubled history and a difficult relationship based on many things that happened early in, in our connection or in my life. And I have no anger or resentment uh, anymore uh, in me towards her, which is a result of, you know, lots of therapy. But I don't exactly have this deep love for her either. I mean, maybe I do under the surface somewhere deep down, uh, but uh, on a more conscious level, I would say that my feelings towards her are more neutral. It's more like, um, it's more like a formal, respectful and caring relationship that works best when there's physical distance between us. And before the workshop, she was telling me that she was doing this practice of trying to think of a person to help her get into the state of feeling love in her heart. You know, she listens to a lot of Dispenza and Abraham Hicks as well. And it was easiest for her when she was thinking of her grandson, the son of my brother. Uh, but when she thought of us, my brother and I, she had this heavy, heavy feeling inside her. It was, I don't know, but it was... Um, it was kind of deep, you know, when she said that to me. So a couple of days after the workshop, she texted me again that she has just experienced that she can get her heart filled with love and joy if she's thinking of me. And it shocked her as much as I shocked me. Uh, and that I must have done something energetically. She was wondering, like, what happened? And I thought, like, how strange, you know, like, for 40 years, nothing. And I just go to an Abrahamic's workshop and all of a sudden she feels love uh, towards me. Of course, she loves me as a mom, but, you know, it's like... This, I think it, there's this burden of, you know, a lot of unresolved issues, trauma, pain, anger, I don't know, a lot of shit happened and just, I guess it has built up inside us and both of us have, have went to a lot of therapy sessions, so we have been working on it actively, but still, I just think that it's really fascinating how her feelings just changed within a couple of days, right? Without any of us going to therapy. And she claimed that she feels deep love for me. Now, how is this possible, you may wonder? Is there even a connection between me going to an Abraham Hicks workshop and my mom feeling love towards me all of a sudden? I believe there is, and here's why. First of all, I've been to countless numbers of Hellinger family constellation therapy sessions, both public and private ones. And I know and feel that huge shifts in my energy, in my feelings towards a situation with someone or that particular someone, will generate a shift in those connected to me too, or taking part in, in this situation. So I believe we are all connected, but I'm probably most connected uh, to and with the people who are in my close family. I still clearly remember what happened after a therapy session where my difficult relationship with my brother came up as a root cause of something else. My brother not even being physically present at the session or knowing about this happening, but by simply a stranger I picked from the crowd, uh, representing him and his feelings during the therapy. I mean, if you don't know what family constellation is about and how it works, uh, you know, you really have to look it up. But in brief, just to give you some idea, you invite strangers present at this uh, session. Uh, you just basically pick from, from the crowd whoever you think should be representing that particular person in your family. And as soon as they stand up, they just start... I mean, these downloads are happening, it's crazy. And then they start feeling and thinking exactly how that person used to think or feel with regards to me. And I've been in this situation like so many times. I've been on both sides. Like I've been picking out strangers from the crowd who were representing my family members. And I have been playing family members for others. And it just, it's mind blowing. You know, as soon as you stand up, you get into this circle and then you just, 
especially if you're a sensitive person like me, or especially like you know you're an empath, as I am, it's just you're instantly you know getting these 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 feelings. Like for example, I remember every time I have to represent someone who's already dead, and I would not know anything about that person. I wouldn't even know that they're dead. I just feel um, inspired or sort of instructed to just lay down on the ground, and that normally happens that that person is dead. Um, or once there was this little girl who's who picked me from the crowd to represent her mum, and I was just looking at the person who was representing her, and I'm just looking at her, and I'm like, I don't know if it has any meaning to you, but when I look at you, I see a little chicken. And uh, bear in mind that this was uh, in Hungary, happening all in Hungarian, so obviously words can mean sort of different things, or we use words in, in a slightly different ways, but like... Uh, she was completely shocked because she said, that's exactly what my mom calls me. She calls me her little chicken, which I know it sounds awkward in English again, but in Hungarian it sounded cute. So, you know, like these little things, how would I know? Like I knew nothing about that girl or her mom and their relationship. And uh, this family constellation technique is, is great to heal pain, trauma, or just basically understand the other parties in a story and have more empathy towards them or just solve conflict and all that. So after one of the sessions where my relationship with my brother came up as a root cause, as I said, for something, and um, I don't remember what it was, but we seemed to repair it, or at least parts of it, and then something strange happened. Because my brother, who never called me, called me the very next day. That alone was super strange. And I started to cry when I heard the kindness in his voice, the love towards me, with which he said, Hey sis, I want to take you out for dinner sometime. And I was like, what the fuck is happening? My brother would never call me and he would definitely never take me out for dinner. Or at least he never has. Anyway, this was just a short example in how uh, energetically we are all connected. And even if I have a difficult relationship with someone, but I fix or elevate the feelings in me towards that person, that person will also feel lighter about me. It will ease or shift something in that person too. I truly believe this. And the same thing happens when you think negatively about someone or criticize them behind their back. They may not be able to explain why, but they will have this heaviness towards you. Again, this is something that just, it proved to be true so many times in my life. Now being a little bit more scientific, quantum entanglement is a phenomenon in which entangled systems show correlations that cannot be explained by classical physics. It has recently been suggested that a similar process occurs between, between people too, because with other words, quantum entanglement um, says that one subatomic particle can interact and communicate with another uh, particle at a huge distance, like even if they are like light years away. But of course you can sort of replace the subatomic particle with humans because humans are also made up of subatomic particles. So it means that once humans are connected or linked to each other energetically or emotionally, they will be able to sense certain things about each other. And you know this if you have siblings or I'm pretty sure that it happened to you many times that you were thinking of someone that that person called you right then. Even Einstein talks about this. He says, or he calls this, he called this uh, spooky action at a distance. And the spooky action at a distance proved to scientists and researchers that the information present in one particle, or in one human, can be shared, exchanged, and mirrored by another particle or human. Um, and it is particularly true for people who are in close relationships like, you know, family or love relationships. So I believe that even though I gave no thoughts to my feelings towards my mom or my relationship with her during or after the workshop, my spirit was probably elevated. My feelings were eased and I had less resentment or negative emotions in me in general. And that was experienced energetically by my mom. Therefore, she felt lighter about me and felt the, the natural flow of love uh, which is our natural state, according to Abraham. I mean, in general, uh, the better person I am becoming, the better my relationships are getting, too. Uh, the more love I feel in me, the more love I will feel towards others, and others will kind of reflect that back to me. Esther Perel, my favorite couples therapist, says that the quality of our relationships determines the quality of our life. But I think it all starts within. The quality of our thoughts and our emotions fueled by our thoughts will affect the quality of our relationship to ourselves and to others, which will obviously have its effect on our life too. So our thoughts 
and emotions will indirectly affect the quality of our life. So choose a better feeling thought about yourself, your life and, and those you care about, and even the ones that you don't care about because they will also reflect it back at you. And come to the next Abraham Hicks workshop, which will probably happen in Amsterdam next year. I'm super excited about it. Uh, probably you should follow them or just look up their website and that's where they will enclose all the uh, information that you need to know to book your ticket. If you like this video, please give it a like, share it with those you want to, feel free to subscribe, comment, show some love and hope to keep in touch. Take care. Bye-bye.